Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 13th, 2024. Well, I hope everyone had a great evening last night, ready for another wild day in the market as we await key inflation data and the possibility of some wild volatility as the market opens up today. Let's first take a look at what happened overnight here. Um, Asian markets last night, mostly higher, but there is a troubling story out there on Bloomberg today that you'll wanna be keeping an eye on. Um, one of the things that's happening here is China sentiment is getting um, pretty ugly. I wrote about this in the morning blog, you can catch that, but what's going on here is um, volume is plummeting over there showing massive pessimism in um, Chinese markets. Um, so you wanna keep an eye on that. I've been warning that there are some major problems beginning to happen over there. But that being said, um, they managed to pull off uh, green across the board here last night. Mostly modest gains, um, except for the Nikkei. The Nikkei surged 1,200 points or 3.45% as the volatility over there remains really, really high. But um, most of our markets um, in, uh, were very modest on those gains. European the markets this morning, however, have a different opinion. They are all in the red after UK reported uh, wage growth falling to a two-year low and we're still waiting on their um, reading for um, uh, inflation here. Um, later this morning. So keep an eye on that. But we're down across the board here in European markets. And here in the U.S., we have a little bit of a mix of data with um, S&P and NASDAQ futures looking uh, modestly higher with uh, Dow futures moving lower. And uh, one of the big reasons that is the case is we heard from Home Depot this morning and Home Depot is suggesting that the consumers are growing more cautious. They're putting off um, um, any home improvements and they are uh, guiding um, uh, lower for the next quarter. So kind of keep an eye on that. That's also um, kind of headline of the news this morning. So um, what else we have going on? Well, we have oil after a big rally in oil yesterday, taking a look at XLE, um, really came back strongly and oil pushing up sharply. We have oil just slightly lower this morning. We're only down 21 cents a barrel at 79.85 a barrel and that Brent crude back above $80 a barrel um, down just 25 cents um, a barrel and natural gas after uh, a nice move up yesterday is now showing a little bit of bearishness here this morning pulling back just a tiny little bit. Now, remember, one of the reasons this is the case is we're sending more troops, uh, more aircraft carriers to the uh, Middle East because of those growing tensions and, of course, destabilization in the Middle East um, typically sees those oil prices move higher. So we'll want to be watching that carefully. Let's take a look at what happened happening in precious metals. Precious metals had a really big move yesterday. Gold surging dramatically yesterday, not making a new high, um, as you can see here in the chart, but a new closing high here on um, gold yesterday. So really moving up sharply here, uh, closing up over $2,500 an ounce for the first time and new record high close. Now we're getting a little bit of a pullback here this morning. Right now, uh, gold futures down $2.80. Silver also had a really good day yesterday, but also pulling back this morning down 24 cents. Copper and platinum are moving just slightly lower and palladium is just ever so slightly higher here this morning. But as you can see, 
little pop and drop and we're dealing with some resistance in there from yesterday so keep an eye on palladium let's take a look at um our bond market here this morning our bond market well they're hanging in there right now uh, still just a little bit of worry about what these numbers might be today um two-year bond is at 4.01 percent 10-year bond at 3.91 percent and the 30-year bond at 4.21 percent so not much movement in those so far this morning so what does all that mean for today well how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these index charts and see if we can gain a little bit of information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Remember, everyone, we want to shake off that bias. We want to look at the charts for what they are, not for what we want them to be. So first off, here on the diamonds yesterday, bearish engulfing candle uh, coming into play as we attempted to push up through that 50-day moving average but just couldn't hold it through the end of the day and as you can see this morning got that little bit of bearishness coming in here on the pre-market but the good news is we still have this upside trend so with the data today if the bulls can find inspiration here today then the first thing we need to do is we need to recover this little um, area of price resistance and then push up through those recent highs and that's certainly very possible that that could occur um, instantly um, after uh, the PPI number if we find that to be a bullish number watch that carefully uh, breaking through here we would come up and test this next resistance in the chart and then beyond that this would be a very important level up here to see us break through up in here um, past that point we've got a little gap that we can fill here in the chart that'd be a huge move on the day but certainly possible if those numbers are um, um, have that capability of giving those bulls lots of confidence about rate cuts but not so much in um, demand destruction here in the market now let's take a look on the bearish side and, and what i mean by demand destruction if we see these numbers falling further than expectation showing that the fed is way behind on this and, we're, and our economy is suffering for it watch that carefully if the bears can continue to push this morning maybe a push back down here to test this trend line and if that trend line were to give up some support right underneath it to try and catch if they can't catch there well as you can see we can start moving down progressively through these areas in the chart all the way down to retest these lows in the market and i do think that is a a reasonable possibility we normally see double bottoms per all the time in the market whether they go all the way down to retest the lows or they may just come down and do a higher low so watch that closely what we don't want to see if you're a bull what you don't want to see is a new low because that confirms the downtrend here in the diamonds and um, possibly even a test of the 200 day if those lows were to be taken out there if we take a look at our spy spy also running into a little bit of trouble here as you can see in this chart we're nowhere near our 50-day moving average yet so we still have that upside opportunity but you want to notice that our short-term averages have crossed down creating a technical level of resistance in the chart if we can find bullish inspiration here today and there's every reason to believe that's possible being being just a little bit of a spinning top doji up here it was uncertainty yesterday and notice we've got a gap 
that could be filled. So if we can get good bullish information here today and drive that up, well, you can see that possibility that we could push on up and fill this gap and might at the same time be testing this downtrend. Now that's where it's going to get a little bit critical. Can we pop through there? Momentum on a good number might push us right on through and we would come up in here and test this next area of resistance in the chart. And then of course, as you can see, we just start progressing back up as we approach those all time highs. But remember, be very, very careful. We can pop through a downtrend like that and not be able to hold it and see that reversal. So make sure if you are watching this, push through, get some kind of rest or consolidation to prove that it can hold, and then look for your opportunity um, to the upside here. Because right now we are still in a bearish trend in the SPY. There's no way you can look at this and see anything other than a bearish trend overall though we have this short-term relief rally going on. Now, if the bulls can find inspiration, or bears can find inspiration here today, well, you can see uh, breaking down below this support level would be maybe the first area we would look at. And then as we start progressing down, we'll look at some of these candles in here to see if they can provide some support, but a high likelihood we can move down into here. Remember, markets are, the market is very emotional right now, and so big moves are still possible on these data points. And unfortunately, it won't be the last one this week. We've got uh, uh, Wednesday, another big inflation data point, and then of course, moving right into um, a huge day of data on um, Thursday. So watch those carefully and look, expect some big price moves. Breaking down below this area of support, I would suggest coming down, we might test some of these candles down here, but maybe coming down into this level. And once again, that could be just that higher low that comes back. What we don't want to see if you're a bull is pushing this all the way down to those lows and possibly breaking. Because then we have that potential that we could seek the 200 day moving average in the chart. If we look at our uh, QQQ, very much the same here, except QQQ has rallied up and we are back up here testing that uh, downtrend resistance in the chart. So if the bulls can push on through, notice we got a little gap up here that we could fill. We could reverse this here on the day, push up into that area, and then we'll start looking at progressing on up through this area of the chart to see if we've got the energy to get up through there. Now, if the bears were to come in and find inspiration, kind of the same as the spy, we'd look at a little bit of support right in here and then start pushing down to test some of these areas, possibly that higher low. And again, um, if it were really ugly, then we might start looking down here for a retest. Remember, we came really, um, uh, we closed um, through that 200 day moving average. So a retest of this 200 day moving average would put us at a higher low and a possible bounce from that point in that W formation. You'll want to um, also uh, keep in mind that if we get that bullish push here to the upside, the move could be substantial. So be prepared for that. Also be prepared for that possibility that the move could be substantial here in the QQQ. There are stories out today that the Japanese carry trade is far from over. And certainly we still have that worry here in the market. And then if we take a look at our IWM, oh, IWM just didn't have the energy. You know, one of the things we're pushing so much money into the queues to push that back up, that's really dragging money out of um, the IWM. And you can see QQ, I mean, IWM running into that major resistance here in the chart and pulling back. And remember that area goes clear back here to 2021 in 2022. So you can see that little bit of a kind of a bearish consolidation happening in here on that, um, trend 
right here. We failed that yesterday and we're continuing to follow that down at least this morning in the pre-market. If the bulls find inspiration, first thing we need to do is pop back above that. See if we can come back up here and test some of the resistance of those highs and then retest this major area of price resistance. If we can pop through there, well, we've got a nice little gap above that could fill uh, pretty easily. So watch carefully for that. On the bearish side, if those bears continue to find inspiration, the first place I would look is maybe down here, that big black candle to see if we can hold that low. Um, and of course, that white candle right there to hold that area in the chart. If those bears push on through there, well, then I'm looking at probably a retest of the low, the double bottom. The worry point in IWM, of course, would be that failure of the low. Um, and a retest of the 200-day moving average. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX um, yesterday pulled back, but not as much as you probably would have hoped. We pulled back to this upside trend. You can see there's that trend here in the chart. We've got about, oh, 20 two 23 handles here in uh, excuse me 21 handles in the vix still showing us considerable possibility of volatility and today um, if we were to get some bearish data a bounce off of this could be a problem for us so watch that carefully if the bulls however find that inspiration here today and we can break down below this area of price support and break that trend then we might start relieving some of that pressure that we're seeing in those options, wide bid ask spreads and that uncertainty here. So keep an eye on that. But remember, we no more than get through that number this morning. We're going to be thinking about the CPI for tomorrow. Let's take a look at our um, T2122, which is the four week new high, new low ratio. No surprise yesterday that we saw that little drawdown, that little pullback. As I mentioned in the morning prep yesterday, we it was a hurry up and wait day and we ended up in real choppy uh, market conditions. Just pulling back here a little bit. Notice that if the bears were to find inspiration, we still have room to move. If they were to find that inspiration here to the downside and if the bulls find inspiration today, we've got a big upside opportunity here for them if they uh, can get that bullish energy coming into the market if we take a look at our t2108 let's go t2108 though t2108 also pulled back yesterday i'm not sure that i would this is really not all that bearish notice that we've pushed up here although we did pull back in that resting day again that was pretty much expected we've got some support here in the chart that could still hold that the unfortunate thing is we've only got about 38 percent of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average so it's kind of tough to build a real bullish case but remember, those data points can change that really quickly. Now, if the bulls find inspiration, I think we need to break this little downtrend in here. Start pushing up and maybe even break through that 50% of the stocks above their 40 day. Certainly possible on a data point like today. If the bears were to find inspiration, well, we've got some support right in here that we'd want to be watching. But if we were to get some ugly news here today and start breaking that down, well, then we really have some worries coming um, into the market. Same thing on T2107. The T2107. Um, not all that impressive yesterday, um, uh, pulled back, um, again, a lot of choppiness, um, can't seem to break through this resistance at the moment, but, um, we're so close to that 50% area here. The data this morning could easily push us up through there and maybe we'll test some of these areas in the chart and start looking for some of those higher prints here in T2107. If the bears were to find inspiration, we've got a little tiny bit of support, you know, in here and in here, but that could break pretty easily. And then um, we'd have to look out. Um, we could really start catching some selling if we were to drop out of there. That would really change sentiment, I think, in the market. And then if we take a look at T2101, kind of as expected yesterday, the breadth of the market pulled back. 
there just wasn't a whole lot of inspiration for the market to move yesterday waiting on the these um, inflation numbers so we'll want to keep an eye on that um, good chance we see an increase in breath today it may be on the bullish side it may be on the bearish side depending on how the markets react let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today and our economic calendar well it's what we've been talking about here all morning we're going to have uh, an nfib small business number uh, actually it's already out 93.7 consensus was looking for a 91.7 so optimism increasing just slightly here on the small businesses but we also have um, that ppi number and of course that's the that's the, the number that everyone's going to be focused on today. Past that point, um, we're going to run out of inspiration here really quick. We've got a uh, Fed speaker that will be coming up here this afternoon. And then we're going to be thinking about this. Mortgage applications, <coughs> CPI number tomorrow morning, and a petroleum status with a bond auction. Remember, Thursday is going to be a really big day of data let's take a look at our earnings calendar here for today and our earnings calendar we do have some notables here this morning and probably just a few more than i would like to cover here in the morning prep video i don't want to run it too terrible long but we've already looked at home depot that's looking a little bit ugly we've got hot reporting here this morning we're going to um, hear from um, mrsn on the notable list onon we've got um, tme also on that list this morning so you can see we've got a little bit of bearishness in some of those stocks here this morning this afternoon not too many on that notables report but a few that we want to be paying attention to um, duot will be reporting this afternoon um, inta mrcy we're going to hear from nu and xp and if you want to catch that full list of notables guys make sure you click the link just below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog and remember we're really starting to see tomorrow is our biggest day of earnings this week but a lot of them aren't notable they're really small cap we're really starting to wind down there will be some notable reports for sure as we continue through this earnings season but the numbers of earnings the big inspiration is starting to drop away now there's a good news to that and there's a bad news to that the good news to that is that we um, are out from under the majority of blackout period here for um, U.S. stocks. So corporate buybacks and things like that can really start to crank up if they choose to. But we also have that situation where August tends to be one of the worst months of the market. And we are beginning to see interesting interesting um, patterns in the market that show us a little bit of caution a little bit of worry as the consumers seem to be pulling back pretty dramatically so yeah be kind of careful here let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that everyone if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and also click the bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment I know it gets to be a hassle doing this every single day, but I do truly appreciate the kind support of the effort of putting these videos out every day. So thank you everyone who does take the time to do that. You guys are truly awesome. I really appreciate it. Let's take a look at a few of these charts setting up. Remember folks, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. Do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful. And remember, no matter what we think is going to happen, everything could change around these economic numbers here this morning. First off, let's take a look at um, IBM. IBM had a little bit of um, pullback yesterday, but I got to tell you, for one of the tech sector stocks in here, it is one of the best right now. Holding in here in this nice little resting consolidation, albeit volatile consolidation. But what I would like to see in here, 
I rarely get what I want here in the market, but I like to see this volatility really start to settle down. You can see we've got a couple of days of that. If this were just to settle down and tighten up in here, I would be looking for that next opportunity for IBM to maybe push on through to the upside. Keep a close eye on that. Now, I can't say that about some of these other big tech companies in here. Google, this rally back up underneath this downtrend here, may still have more upside potential to rally into that downtrend. But I'm really watching this closely for that potential of that next short to the downside. And notice that a retest or a test of the 200 would not be out of the question here in Google. Remember, they've got that antitrust lawsuit failure going on um, and a lot of pressure here in the market. And this would just be a pullback. It doesn't mean that we go terribly bearish. Just a pullback to retest this big long trend line in the Google or, or uh, in Google. So watch that closely. Um, other places in tech are also um, running into those real concerning areas of the market, like AMD uh, pushing up here in the chart. I think if we could rally back into this resistance area here, I'd be watching for the next. Uh, potential short in AMD and a push on lower here does seem likely to me with the 50 crossing down through the 200 in that what they call the death cross. So keep an eye on stocks like AMD. If we take a look in the oil sector, um, oil having this nice little bump back up and we're going to have to keep an eye on this because if we see, if we see um, an increase in um, um, saber rattling over there in the Middle East, then we have the real potential here that we could see oil gain um, some surge to the upside. Now, if calmer heads prevail and that doesn't occur over there, then notice we've got some resistance here in the chart and we could see that oil roll back over got to be really careful here and be selective in charts but let's take a look at like Exxon Mobil yesterday Exxon Mobil had a really good push up here tried to gap through this resistance ended up pulling back just slightly but notice we've got this little upside trend going on in here if this were to rest in this area I would look for that next opportunity in here to the upside particularly if we see those concerns in the Middle East continue to grow and there are other um, stocks out there um, making that nice little rally back notice fang here breaking that downtrend making that first move to the upside breaking through some resistance in the chart now give me a little rest or consolidation and put in that higher low yeah, I'd keep an eye on some of these stocks here in the oil sector if we continue to see that saber rattling going on. Of course, in the um, I've been talking about this, the consumer staple sector, the consumer defensive area of the market, those are still holding in here pretty good. Um, we're not getting, you know, huge fire in the belly, just a massive run to the upside but i think one of the things we have certainly seen is a rotation into um safety plays um more dividend payers you know colgate palmolive pulling back here to trend i would be watching for the next opportunity there kroger's been hanging in here on support looking for that inspiration in the market to maybe push on through things like hormel trying to hold in here. Tyson is another one that we'd want to be paying attention to, trying to hang in here. So some of those old, boring defensive sector companies, good dividend payers trying to hang in and hold stocks like AT&T in that telecommunication area, showing lots of bullishness. You can look at Altria. Altria is being holding very strong here. Notice how this pattern is tightening up. In that nice little tight pattern, I'd be looking for that bullish inspiration maybe to pop on through there. Things like 3M still holding into very bullish patterns. I would watch those pretty closely. And there are quite a few in that old, boring, defensive sector area of the market. Coke, Pepsi, 
things like that hanging in there pretty well. And then of course, um, once again, over in that utilities sector, utilities holding into a nice bullish pattern. And there are certainly plenty of stocks over here in um, the utilities area of the market that are showing considerable bullishness and have rallied nicely here recently. So keep an eye on those charts as well. So with that, everyone, I'm running this video just a little bit long. You guys have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for being here and listening. Hope you got something out of the video today. Um, uh, thank you so much for your kind support. I'll see you right back here right early Wednesday morning for that CPI number. Y'all take care, be safe, trade wisely, and have a profitable day.